Oh man. <laughs> okay, so this is my video of uh, my video game collection for the PlayStation 3. And this is how it was supposed to start, you know, with the box placed here, and, but it keeps falling down. I can't help it. I have to switch off the fan and that I won't do. Even for the sake of a better video, I guess. Hmm. Aesthetically poor, I guess. Anyway, so as you see, I have placed the DualShock 6 axis controller in a proper position. Uh, you know, like I see in good videos so that I may become a better camera person in spite of my very humble camera skills and there is the thing itself you can see the name I don't have to explain it again I placed it there so that it looks more presentable Uncharted Trilogy Edition box let's put that out of equation for now since we don't need it we don't really need it and Let's get to the main part. Hmm. I can place it to the side right now and let me switch off the fan so it, you know, I can get rid of all this noise in the background. And there we have it. So, I'm gonna put it to the left. And now this is Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I don't need to explain how good this game is because I guess if you own a PlayStation 3, you already know it. And if you don't, then you're gonna know it someday soon because I think you must want to buy it. And great visuals, great storyline, amazing sound acting, I mean voice acting, what else can I say? And now we have Drake, um, Among Thieves, Uncharted 2. This is also by Naughty Dog and I think personally for me among the free games this had the best storyline. I love, love that whole angle involving Chloe, Nate and Elena. I thought it was really nice and engrossing and I really felt like you know I was you know part of it somehow or at least I was really attached to it. I felt it had a really good storyline best of the three but that's just me. Overall this had better visuals but this is the most memorable as far as I'm concerned. Now, yes, I have all the three games as you could have guessed from the box that I showed you earlier. Good game. I've completed 36% of it and I'm going to complete it soon. These two are done. I played it in reverse order. Kind of weird, but again, what can I do? I mean, what can you do? There's the game itself. 10 by 10, a masterpiece, blah blah, Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Amazing game. Um, I kind of like this whole cover art, you know, which is kind of elegant, you know, more aesthetic, nice. Then we have The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. What is it? The 5th Anniversary Edition, Bethesda. Really good game. I've spent a lot of time playing it, couldn't complete it because I think if you want to complete either of these two games or both for that matter, I think I need to quit my job for a few months. I think it has about 300 hours of gameplay. I checked it out somewhere. I spent nearly 100, but you know, insignificant. Then we have Batman Arkham City. This is the first game that I completed on the PlayStation 3 and it's really good. I mean, I haven't played the Catwoman storyline, the Selena Kyle thing, but overall, a really good game. You should play it. It looks a bit scratchy on, you know, on PlayStation 3 it looks better on the 360 but well then we have God of War 3 good game great visuals um, good storyline uh, I enjoyed playing it especially I enjoyed the last part of it thoroughly the whole part with Zeus and Pandora it was kind of good and the ending scenes and visuals were just memorable Especially that part where you know uh, you're in, you're the evil uh, Kratos and the whole world is black and you're living through your memories and all that it was just really nice and I was you know you see that red screen and you keep punching Zeus for like ten minutes or something oh, sometimes I had to you know check if it was actually going to end or not or something happened that wasn't supposed to but 
Then we have SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. I think this was one of the best of the series. I mean SmackDown vs. Raw series. And it's a part of my childhood fetish. I really like WWF games back then. So I had to get one. And it features ECW. Not that it really matters. But doesn't hurt. Right? And then we have FIFA 12. A game that I don't have to invest too much time in. I don't have to care about a storyline. I can just, you know, invite one person over you know have two of these and play multiplayer or I can just do that online and it's a very good game with a really good AI I think it had the best FIFA has the best FIFA AI among all the FIFA games that I've played and I've not played the f you know the one that came out just now FIFA 13 I think that's a better game as I've heard in reviews or something but I'm not sure and contrary, if you've heard the message tone right now, you think it's an iPhone, but well, it's not. But it works just as, I mean, it, I was about to say something, you know, which can be considered criminal, but it. I really like the phone. I think it has a very good solid build, but this is not what the video is about. So let's put it aside. There's my video collection. There's the controller, my laptop, and my desktop, come television, come... Um, what else? Uh, TV, there's the CPU, other things, and there's my PS3 covered and two books. Hmm. So there you have it. Please like, comment and subscribe because they are going to help me out and you know, you'd help me out doing them. So until the next video, bye bye. Hope you enjoy this one.